Mark Goodman. What's up, Mark? I met Mark down at the SEO Rockstars event that I was just mentioning. Um, anyways, he says, I have a Google, I have no problem ranking videos at the top of YouTube. What is the secret to ranking YouTube videos on the first page of Google? That's a good one, Mark. If um, there's really no secret, it's work, right? I, the the secret is some some keywords just are basically like having a version to ranking videos for them. <laughs> what I mean by that is there are just there are certain there are certain categories of of search queries or terms. Google categorizes certain searches, right? There's commercial intent. There's informational intent. There you know various types of categories, search categories, and some categories Google just does not like to display videos for. And I found that, you know, for a lot of competitive local terms, guys, a lot of the times it's difficult to rank videos for them. So the the key or the trick is to find longer tail versions or, um, uh, you know, start hitting some of the suburb areas. I, I'm, I'm just assuming you're talking about local, Mark. I, I, I don't know that that's the case. But for local specifically is targeting some of the locations like instead of the the broad metropolitan area target some of the suburbs or some of the you know boroughs or districts or whatever if you're talking about a county like i just mentioned previously you can go in and get, gather all the different locations contained within that county and optimize the video uh you know the same video for e that keyword plus each one of those locations if you want right and find out some of them are going to rank easy some won't that's just the nature of the game but what I mean, as far as ranking like a, a broader term, and again, I'm speaking about local just because that's, guys, you know, that's pretty much all I do anymore is local. Um, you can take, you can build a silo, Mark. If you're not familiar with the YouTube Silo Academy, um, I'm, you bought some of our products. You should have access to it already. You should have access to our bonus site, which is included in there. Go through the YouTube Silo Academy training. Um, it's old, but it still works. There's, it's The principles are still the same. That hasn't changed at all. But take the broadest term that you're trying to rank for, put that at the top of a playlist, and then start building just like you would be siloing a website. You would take keywords that are longer tail, that are supporting type keywords, and create videos or use the same video optimized for those various supporting keywords. Put them all in the same playlist with the internal link from the description up to that top level or the, the top of the silo. Also link to the playlist because a playlist is nothing other than a container, right? It's a container that contains videos. So you want to link to the container to juice up the entire container, but also link up to the top level, uh, the top of silo, which is your broadest of terms. One more thing. Once you've published the video, go in and comment underneath the, as the first comment underneath the video. As soon as it's published, go in to, and comment and drop a link to the top, the top video that you want to rank. Okay. And then pin that comment to where it's the pinned comment at the top, uh, like it's the first comment and it will stay the first comment underneath the video. Okay, so now you've got an internal link from the YouTube description going to the, the top level uh, video in the silo, which is the one you want to rank. Then you've also got an internal link pointing to the playlist, which powers up the entire container. And then you've got a, a comment link, which is, a, I believe, a do follow link as long as it's an internal link from uh, the video up to your top level term, top level video essentially, right? And now you've got basically every single one of your video URLs our target URLs for link building and your playlist URL is a target URL for link building. Does that make sense? And so you've got literally a bunch of URLs now that, and, and by the way, in case you guys weren't aware of this, and this is covered in YouTube silo Academy, but for each, when you, whenever you put a video in a playlist, you have the original video URL, but then as it's in bed or once it's uh, added to a playlist, you, and you play the video from the playlist, now it has its own unique playlist URL for that specific video. So think about how many URLs you can extract from this. And we're not even talking about all the variations of YouTube URLs either. I'm talking about just the straight YouTube URL and playlist URL. You can get a bunch of variations from those and now you've got, you can just do a ton of link building. One other thing, Mark, the last thing I'm gonna say about this before moving on um, is engagement. Engagement is one of the most primary ranking factors for YouTube videos now, not just in YouTube, but also in Google. And so I've talked about this many times, but how to use YouTube ads to rank local videos in Google search, right? How, let me repeat that. How to use YouTube or Google AdWords to buy views and clicks for, that are locally relevant because you can set all this up through targeting. We've covered this in great detail in the past. Um, you could go to our YouTube channel, semantic youtube.com slash semantic mastery click the channel search 
uh, function and it's type in YouTube ads for ranking local videos or something like that and just start perusing through you'll see and within the last two months or so we did a an extended answer on this on how to do that uh, in hump day hangouts okay but it's really really a great way to do it I pretty much almost standard operating procedure for all videos that I try to rank for local terms I go in and set up an AdWords campaign now for it dollar a day to start with guys it's 30 bucks a month and once I start getting the traction or I get ranked I back it down to about 50 cents a day which costs 15 dollars per month to maintain okay it's totally worth it so I'm gonna move on <clears throat> good question uh, I man. would just just add to to what you just said video powerhouse to get embeds mm -hmm. and then we also have our own YouTube views platform but that's in beta testing also it's about to be released so I would say next couple of weeks it'll be ready and then you could buy views from from us. I mean, you don't have to go and learn how to do YouTube ads and all that stuff if you don't want to. You can just get them from us. Yeah, it'll be cheaper than than buying uh, from uh, from YouTube. Yeah, and I, and forgive me for not mentioning uh, Video Powerhouse, um, but yeah, that that's certainly part of it. That's that's part of the whole Silo Academy stuff, or excuse me, YouTube Silo stuff that I do includes embedding um, because you can. Think about it, guys. If you have, if you've created a YouTube silo, you've got all these other supporting videos, right? Each time you do an embed blast with those, it's very similar to doing link building to any of the URLs in that you're powering up that specific video, but that video has a link both in the video description and the content, a comment area that links up to the top level video that you're trying to rank, as well as to the playlist, which powers up everything contained within it. So my point is, is that the embeds plus the backlinks plus the engagement, all all of those combined is what you need, Mark, to get ranked. Okay. Uh, 